This video is going to show you how to quickly identify a meeting time for those you would like to invite. In Outlook 365, when you go to create a new meeting invitation, you will start by entering your recipients, and then you can click on scheduling in the toolbar to help you identify a common time available. Here we can see that the blue bar indicates the recipient is busy, whereas the white space indicates free time. Go ahead and click in a spot where everyone is available. That date and time will auto populate. You can adjust the end time or duration as needed, and you can send. Notice that for one recipient, we can see exactly what that person is doing during a busy time, whereas for another recipient, we can't. We can only see that they're busy, but not with what. This is a permission setting, and you can change your own as desired. To do this, return to your calendar main screen and right-click on your main work calendar. Click on Sharing Permissions. In here, you'll want to check and see what the default role is. My default is free slash busy time, which means that recipients who use the scheduling feature would only be able to see whether I am free or busy. They would not be able to see the details of with what I am busy. You can change this down here so that people can see full details or just see free slash busy time. You can also set specific permissions for specific individuals by adding those individuals here with add user. Another way to keep some events more private than others is either when creating the event or once you have selected the event in your calendar, you can go ahead and click on private. This way, people using the scheduling option can still see most of the details related to your calendar. However, maybe you have some personal appointments on there, such as a doctor's appointment, and you'd prefer that people don't have those details. You can make that individual event private.